Hello, my name is Kiki. Watch me do my makeup inspired by Ice Spice. Like, sorry, I just had to. Let's get the bill. I'm just going to take this brow gel and coat my brows with that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Sir. Oh, it doesn't even say what the product is anymore. It's the Brow Sets in Clear from MAC Cosmetics. So all that's happening is me just brushing my eyebrows up and out with the brow gel and at the same time as I'm brushing it out, they're laying down and then this product helps my brows to just stay laid nicely all day. I'm going to use this primer around my, the like pyramids on my face. Basically, the area that would typically get dry. Mm. Doing this is completely unnecessary, but it just feels good to give your face a little massage. And I always like to give my lips some hydration before I go into the rest of my base. I start with concealing my brows. And if you notice, I didn't fill my eyebrows in whatsoever, mainly because I felt like they were already looking very like thick and full at this point in time. Um, I, I just got my eyebrows. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, film, I'm doing this voiceover much later than I actually filmed this video and I just got my eyebrows done. But at this point in time, they had like grown out so much and they looked fine. So I didn't feel the need to do too much. So I just laid them down with the clear brow gel and I, um, cleaned them up. And this is really nice, um, to do if let's say you don't know how to fill your eyebrows in or you just don't like the look of like a heavily full oh, english a heavily filled in brow this is really easy to do i don't know why i spent so <laughs> sorry i don't know why this step took so long okay eyeshadow eyeshadow so i kept it very simple for this look because in the initial image that I was looking at it was a very simple almost no eyeshadow there whatsoever but I wanted something on my eyelids just because um I saw a lot of like what's the word give me a second cohesiveness cohesiveness I think the word I was looking for is cohesiveness between her eyeshadow and her cheeks in that picture that I was using. I really like that makeup look and I just thought it would make sense to recreate it. And I feel bad because I don't fully know how to explain what I'm doing here. And that's why the visual is amazing. Thank you. Um, but I literally started with blending out that first orange color just at the corners. And then this, I don't know what, what the shade is. It barely showed up on my skin. <laughs> it barely showed up on my skin, but it was like yellow. And I just thought it would make sense. And it did because it kind of, it. I like how it just softened the edges of that orange that I was using. And then when I used it over the lid, everything just blended together really nicely. And this was my first time using those colors. I won't lie to you, but like. You know when you see the vision and you have what you want to do in your head, it's just execution that's left. That was it. Skin. 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 I should write a song about skin. But you know skin is my favorite part of doing makeup. And I'm using Face and Body Foundation from MAC Cosmetics, which is my go-to foundation just because of how lightweight and easy it is to use. It's also very breathable. Is that the word? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um i like it it works for me and it's my go-to like this is my skin but better kind of foundation um i i okay 
I feel like I'm the type of person that I want to do no makeup makeup looks but then even when I do that you can still tell I have makeup on which is fine um, but yeah when I blend this in with my real technique sponge it still just looks like my skin there's like I have like some spots and things that aren't necessarily as visible to other people but like I see them and this foundation covers most all of pretty much all of these things while still being very like lightweight and not too cake not cakey whatsoever i, I don't uh, see this is my little rant at this point in time i don't like heavy foundation i don't like wearing too much makeup which sounds insane because i wear makeup and i wear so much makeup but like one thing i know for personally that i don't like is like heavy cakey feeling makeup and the products that i use as a whole or like the way that i will maneuver using products for myself always helps me achieve that like i know i have makeup on i want it to show that i have makeup on but then i don't want to feel like there's anything on my skin yeah it does that for me and i love that for me um i've gone off script um yeah so at this point i was cleaning up my brows again and i don't know why i was doing that but then you'll see me like also like buffing out my foundation around my eyebrow area and just anywhere that i just was like okay my foundation doesn't look fully blended in blending is key blending is so key because yeah like yeah you want everything to be nice seamless now i'm going in with concealer quick disclaimer is i'm using very little concealer in general i'm using very little product and the reason for that is i just feel like i don't want too much today so i'm trying to keep it real light if you need more coverage feel free to use more just make sure that you're blending, which I'm about to do. Um, I like to kind of like use the applicator to um, spread the concealer out. But... Okay, moving on. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do like a cream contour. I have this stick. Like it's a, it's really old though, so I feel like it should be thrown away at this point. Um, oh. Yeah, I'll just use this. I, honestly, I don't know where it's from. Someone gave it to me. And I don't even know if like it's still being sold anywhere or anything. <laughs> I, I should probably throw this product to be honest. Let's do a little bit of that jawline contour. Just a tiny, tiny dots. Contouring is my favorite step. If I could just contour my face without wearing any other makeup, I would actually do that. The only problem is I would look insane. And that's usually where I place my contours, like forehead, my nose, and always on my jawline. And I'm using the same sponge that I use for my foundation to blend out all the cream products. So my concealer, you'll see me use this very soon to blend out all the areas where i'm contouring as well um this is literally just like what's the what's that thing um tap tap don't rub like don't swipe just tapping tapping in in pushing pressing motions i'm so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry. I could have said that so much better. Um, but yeah, it's literally just pushing in, pushing in motions. Don't swipe. If you swipe it, you're going to ruin all the hard work that you did in getting the right placement. And I hope I actually did a good job in showing you how to do the placement. And if you missed it, you can just do a little rewind um same thing i'm using the exact same sponge to blend out the cream products i'm using the back of the sponge too that was such an awkward smile <laughs> um blending out the forehead area 
the one thing i don't think i did i okay yes i use a brush to blend the nose contour instead of the sponge because it's just awkward it's not it's not really small enough to blend my nose as well as like <laughs> as well as you'd like so i just use a brush but yeah now i'm using the studio fix powder and i use the shade nc45 which is my go-to for a setting powder under my eyes and i do that first um and I'll just push it in with this brush i think this is 224 240 i don't know all the products are linked in the description box below by the way um if you're just wondering anything i used try check in there this is taking so much longer than you'd expect why was i spending so much time doing this <laughs> i've rewatched this video so many times and i'm I, okay anyways after this i'm using the laura mercier translucent honey i love this setting powder 10 over 10 she's a keeper ever since i tried this laura mercier powder i just haven't been able to go back to anything else but i'll probably be trying some other new ones as well because i don't know i feel like if you want your makeup to look different then you have to use different products um but that's a discussion for another day so make sure you like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications so that you actually stay with me and stay up to date on all the new looks and things that i'll be doing thank you thank you very much i appreciate you i'm still setting my face with powder at this point i don't know why this is taking so long but i guess it is what it is okay enjoy i will be back when i start contouring again Oh, wait did you hear me say hello hello okay so i'm using this juvia's place eyeshadow as a bronzer as i always do because it's just the only brown shade that i have found that works beautifully as a bronzer on my skin it's just so warm uh, anyways <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 trying to be serious i'm trying to be you know serious and i'm serious but like yeah anyways um yeah it's just the i just haven't found a different bronzer that i like as much as like this but to be fair I, I, as much as i like makeup i just haven't tried as many products as i want to yet so i'm using that just blending this out these br this brush in particular that i'm using is from glow by mo and then this brush here is a bh cosmetics brush that i've had for years and i'm using the orange shade from that same eyeshadow palette as a blush and it's beautiful on my skin i think orange blush is really pretty on brown dark skin in general so if you're ever in doubt try an orange or a pink pretty and then i'm using the mineralized skin finish powder just to blend like my full face but mainly that jawline area where i had used some powder on before and that's just to help everything be more nice and seamless and after this keep watching the the last couple minutes of this video is just finishing touches. I'm going to do a little bit more of the blush when using this orange from the Juvia, this Juvia face product. The Zulu! I love Juvia's face. I'm going to do more blush. Because I like it. Tiny little bit more blush. You know, this is unnecessary. But I'm going to do some pink blush as well. I'm usually wearing like <laughs> two, two to four blushes at once. It's rare these days that I'm only wearing one blush. It's very likely dust all over. 
I like, I really like this. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm barely wearing any makeup too, which is nice. Okay, I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but oh, barely. We're gonna do a brown eyeshadow in my under eyes. This um, brown never fails me. I really like that. This is how I pretend like my under eyes don't crease. I use brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with my BC blender and my under eyes on my hand. I know you're not actually supposed to put settings for like your eyeshadow, but I'm, I just don't care right now. I do this thing where like I'll finish the full face, but then I'm, I always go back in like, I don't know, like final touch-ups here and there. You just, when you look at your face, like you just, what is that? Oh. When you look at your face, like you'll just be like, okay, I need to go back in here and in there and etc. etc. I haven't even put on mascara or done my lips. Do you see? This is why I haven't stood up yet and I've just been talking. I've just been saying words. This is actually very fun, I won't lie. I'm enjoying myself thoroughly. Dry your, your lip liner from up to top to top to uh, from from here to the top because <laughs> it shapes your lips better. I don't know how I feel about it still. I mean, I feel like to me it looks the same, but I understand it. watching my video thank you thank you thank you if you made it this far you're a real one still I'm gonna put on my lip gloss now and it's the Paraglass something lip gloss from MAC Cosmetics and it's in the shade 10 things I hate pouty 